Hello. Hello. Welcome to Lightspeed Spanish, and we're here with some guests. Yeah, we're here with Omar and Jeff from Mexico. Hello, guys. And we're here from Diana. From whereabouts are you at the moment, Diana? <laughs> I am in Miami right now, but I'm from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Okay. So, and we're here in England, representing Spain. Okay. <laughs> in sunny England. In sunny, freezing England. Okay. Okay, so today what we're doing is we're going to make a comparison on foods, on the key foods and some of the key food groups between Mexico, Puerto Rico and Spain. Okay. So, Cynthia, when we were talking about this, we, we thought we'd start with the meat because I know that meat has different names in, in different countries, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what is, um, what's beef in Spain? So beef, we would say ternera. Ternera. Okay. Yeah. What about in Mexico? What, what would you say the beef? Mm? <laughs> we would just say carne. Carne de res. Carne de res. Carne, carne de, res. de res. What is res? Cow. Is that, that's, that's cow, is it? it? But it's like, we only say res if it's like what you're going to eat. Yeah, like for example, we would say las reses to talk about the cows, but mostly we're talking about meat. Yeah, basically. if we're talking about the animal, we say vaca. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so like in English, in English we say cow, but we eat beef. Yeah. Right. And yeah. the vaca, yeah. you eat ternera. ternera. Okay. And what about in Puerto Rico? For us in Puerto Rico, ternera is like a type of meat. It's like um, veal, I think is the just like that it's not like the generic name for for meat or beef it's just a specific one carne de ternera so what would you say for beef oh carne 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 yes <laughs> <laughs> carne <laughs> that's very generic very generic isn't it <laughs> and if you want to specify it's carne de res or like cow's meat oh yeah yeah well Yes, carne de res or carne de cerdo, but maybe that's separate. But but for meat is carne. Sure, uh -huh. but this is ternera is specifically beef. Cow. Cow. Okay, oh. ternera, yeah. If no, we would say carne as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Cynthia, what about pork? Pork is cerdo. Cerdo. Mm. We say carne de puerco. We have like many words, like we could understand perfectly yeah. cerdo, cochino, marrano, puerco, chancho in, in some places, <laughs> yeah. uh, but mostly I would say, cucho. yeah, mostly for meat we would say puerco. Puerco, that's the most common word. And it is the most popular meat in Mexico, is it not? Mm, no, I would say... No. It's very popular I would actually. say beef. I used to see it everywhere in shops with big, big pig skins fried Wait, in yeah. the shops. It's very popular, but at the same time, people are sort of afraid of it. Like they would say, oh, la carne de puerco es muy mala. Like, it's, yeah. it's not good for your health or something. So it is like the most popular one still beef. I, and then it will be pork. pork, the second one, or chicken. So Puerto Rico, okay. So we say cerdo, but we also have the word lechón. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, my yeah. lechón. <laughs> <laughs> so in Christmas we eat a lot of lechon and during the rest of the year but like in Christmas we'll use like the word lechon more <laughs> so lechon is not the baby one it's not a piglet we no we think no. of baby yeah. pork with lechon too you use lechon also but for uh -huh. a baby one for a baby, a baby pork, pork. Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, no. we use like cerdo or lechon like either either one either or yeah Okay. 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 And mm -hmm. um, Cynthia, what about um, what about lamb? Lamb is cordero. <laughs> we say borrego or. Well, we would say cordero when you're referring specifically to the lamb, to the small sheep. But we don't usually eat lamb. Yeah, but we, we have a lot of borrego, which is the adult one. But we do have. Which is a borrego. We do eat borrego. Borrego. That's what I was saying. I mean, there's oh. a lot of borrego in many different dishes. So, but we would say borrego most of the time. Yeah. Sometimes, if we would understand oveja, but we use mostly borrego. Okay. And you tell uh, So in Puerto Rico we say cordero. Cordero. Mm. 
Cordero. Okay. Do you guys eat goat? Because we, we eat it here a lot. Yes. Especially here in Guadalajara because we eat birria, which is made from chivo. And that's one of the most important dishes here in Guadalajara. Yeah. The, the birria of chivo. I haven't had it that much in restaurants, um, Cabra, so I don't think I don't think it's very popular, no. The products of go goat, cheese, the, the yeah. milk, yeah, definitely. But not but the goat itself. And here no. we don't really eat the products. We Unless you really eat fresa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Cynthia, what about um, uh, turkey? Turkey is pavo. Pavo. No. Yeah, I call it pavo. Guajolote! It's a guajolote! But when you're eating pavo, you say pavo. Yeah, would you think like on Christmas <laughs> turkey you would say guajolote? A pavo. But, but the animal is guajolote. We use it very often. Like even yeah. like we in the rancho, even people would say guajolote even if you're eating it. They wouldn't yeah. say pavo. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so in Puerto Rico we say pavo. If it's like, like from turkey, a commercial. like turkey ham, is jamón de pavo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. Or cena de pavo. It's always like only when it's food. Yeah. When it's the animal, we call it guajolote. We say pavo for both, for the food and for the animal, pavo. Yeah. And just, I'm assuming everybody has the same word, but chicken? Pollo. 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 Yay! <laughs> Well, there are sometimes that my grandmother makes sopa de gallina. Yeah, yeah. Here they would say caldo de gallina. Caldo de gallina, caldo de gallina. sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or caldo de gallina, yeah. But what's, what's the difference? I don't know. Same thing. Like for example, like grandmas on the ranch would take a big chicken and make uh, a caldo, which is a soup. But it's the same. It's pretty much the same. But it's a. But it's I don't know. Yeah, I think that uh, a chicken is younger. And uh, gallina is like an adult one. Yeah, because pollos are, are only young, aren't they? They, are, they only have yeah. weeks, if something. And gallinas, mm. maybe after they've done whatever they had to do with all the eggs, you know, all the eggs, <laughs> yeah. they go, okay, Definitely. caldo now. In the UK, if we said it's a hen soup, nobody would eat it. No. <laughs> Does it mean something bad or no? No, it's just, it's too old. <laughs> okay, all right.